In the midst of life's battles, find solace and strength that you are not alone. Know, my brothers and sisters, God is with you. Let the fact that God transcends the physical realm as a spiritual anchor fortify your resolve. With unwavering faith, we find comfort in the notion that God accompanies us through every struggle. This conviction instills courage, resilience, and a sense of purpose, turning the fight into a journey where one is never truly alone. Whether facing personal challenges or societal upheavals, faith in God lends a profound sense of support and reassurance, guiding us through the storms of life with a steadfast sense of hope. John 16, 33. In this world, you will have tribulation, but take heart, I have overcome the world. These words resonate as an enduring promise that despite the inevitable challenges of life, Jesus remains a steadfast presence offering peace and triumph over adversity. The acknowledgement of life's difficulties is accompanied by an unwavering belief in the transformative power of Christ's victory. This verse serves as a beacon of hope, inspiring individuals to confront life's battles with confidence, knowing that in Jesus, they find a companion who has conquered the very struggles they face. The heavyweight boxing champion of the world, Mike Tyson, declared that everyone has a plan until they get punched in the mouth. This can translate into life's everyday challenges as well. We often make plans according to our desires. When the devil punches you in the face with adversity, your plans go out the window. Proverbs 16 to 9 imparts the profound wisdom that in their hearts humans plan their course, but the Lord establishes their steps. This verse emphasizes the delicate interplay between human intention and divine guidance. It highlights the humility required to recognize that, despite our well-laid plans, God ultimately directs our paths. The verse encourages a reliance on faith and trust in the divine orchestration of our lives suggesting that God's wisdom surpasses our own. In moments of uncertainty, it serves as a comforting reminder that our steps are not solely determined by our own understanding, but rather guided by a higher purpose and a divine plan that unfolds with each stride we take. Whether you found yourself in a spiritual battle or one of the minds, the Lord is with you. Financial burden can weigh heavy on one's shoulders. The stresses of day-to-day -day tasks can be quite strenuous when walking alone. It is best to recognize the presence of the Lord in these struggles. Genesis 28, 15 Behold, I am with you and will keep you wherever you go, and I will bring you back to this land. For I will not leave you until I have done what I have promised you. What promises has God made you? Have faith in the Lord your God to stand on His word. God will keep His promises. Numbers 23, 19 God is not a man that he should lie, or a son of man that he should change his mind. Does he speak and not act? Does he promise and not fulfill? You undoubtedly have gone through tumultuous times in your life. Seasons of hardships that made you question whether God heard your prayers. Can I tell you that He has been there all along? Through the storms of life's challenges, you've never been alone. God has been with you every step of the way. What are you fighting for right now in your life? Each one of us is fighting something. Every one of us has something we're dealing with. Maybe it's your career. You've been working hard to get a promotion. And each time you go up for a review, you get passed over. Maybe it's with your children. You've watched them grow into their teenage years, and now they are making decisions that you don't approve of and hanging out with people that will lead them astray. Maybe you're fighting insecurities or feelings of unworthiness. 
What about feelings of anxiety? What things are the enemy whispering in your ear? Whatever you're fighting, give it to God. Take it to God in prayer. Don't let the problems of this life make you anxious. Philippians 4, 6, and 7 Do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your request to God, and the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. Maybe you've been fervently praying and interceding on behalf of a loved one with a terminal diagnosis. You know that Jesus is the same today, yesterday, and today. He's never changed the way he operates. The facts tell you that the doctor gave them an unwanted diagnosis. The truth is that God is a God of miracles and healing. The facts are you feel unloved and unseen. The truth is, the Lord loves you more than any person ever could, including your parents. John 14, 27. Peace I leave with you. My peace I give to you. Not as the world gives do I give to you. Let not your hearts be troubled, neither let them be afraid. Have no fear when it comes to the fight you're enduring. Have peace in every season. Let the Prince of Peace carry you through the stress and challenges of this life. The life to come will be better than anything you can possibly imagine. As we navigate the intricate tapestry of life, it is a comforting truth to acknowledge that God carries us through our struggles. In the embrace of divine grace, we find strength in moments of weakness and solace in times of despair. The unwavering belief that God is alongside us, bearing the weight of our burdens, instills resilience and fortitude. Through the twists and turns of our individual journeys, the assurance of an omnipotent presence guides us, reminding us that even in the face of adversity, we are not alone. In surrendering our struggles to God, we discover a profound sense of peace and the wonder-working power of faith. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, you are so gracious. Your steadfast love endures forever. Amid life's challenges, you see the struggle before it comes. Help us focus on your presence, not the fight. Your goodness is unmatched. Nothing is impossible for you. When it comes to walking through the fire, I know I'll make it through it because you're there too. I may not understand why everything happens, but I know that you are the author of my story. If you've written the story, it must be a masterpiece. Thank you for loving me enough to be with me in the fight, God. I'll honor you and serve you all the days of my life. It's in the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen.